Hi, this is Chris from Games Gazette Online, and today I want a quick look at Back to the Future Dice Through Time, a game from Ravensburger that will probably cost you around £25 in the stores in the UK. Right, lots of good things in this. There are player, player boards, uh, which colour coded to the players' pieces, which are DeLoreans, um, and then there are Einstein tokens, which have uh, hel helpful things on the back. These uh, tokens are useful. These are not so good. These are the tokens that you want to get off the board as quickly as you can. They're Paradox tokens. Um, 16 dice, four in each colour, one set for each player. A set of event cards with Back to the Future on the back of them. And then four sets of cards that match the colours, the years of the on the board. Um, and these are item cards. And it's item cards you need to collect. And as I'm showing you here on the brown one, he's collected two item cards. And this has to be returned to... The clock tower in 1985, and this has to be returned to Hildau in 2015. So, at some stage, rather, the brown guy has got to get to the clock tower in 1985, which would be there, and he's got to get to Hildau, which is in 2015, that would be there, but that means. The brown player has got to get to to there and to there to deliver those. Right, we'll put those back at the same because he hasn't done them yet. When he does do them, um, he gets a bonus, and uh, it's the bonus is you're getting rid of one of these cards, and you also get uh, help from Einstein. Basically, the game is about moving your cars around the board up and down um, sometimes you can go just from one area to another in a line so you could go from the clock tower to the clock tower to the clock tower to the clock tower if you do meet up with you, with yourself in the future or the past then you cause a paradox and that causes uh, you more problems um, you need to, to collect these tokens, the Einstein tokens, which flip over under here and give you bonuses, which any player can use, and they count as like extra die, dice, but of course once uh, you've used them, they've gone. So if you roll the same thing on your dice, it's better to use your dice first than using those things. Um, Biffs are on stand-up for some reason. Um, Biff loses his face. Um, in fact, apart from he's, he's having a beard in uh, 1885, he has no other features, so he he, he can't see where he's going, <laughs> which is pretty good. Um, Biff is a nuisance. Biff stops you from doing anything. If Biff's on your square, where you are, where you need to do something, you can't do it until you've got rid of Biff. And the same goes for the Paradox tokens. Um, if they're there, you need to be able to get rid of them first. And you need a Duck Brown to get rid of Paradox Tokens. It will get rid of two, any two tokens from the board, anywhere on the board, not just where you are. Um, right, what do you do? You take these cards, that you, you turn over these cards, uh, a number per turn, depending on players, etc. Um, and this one is... Uh, Marty and Jennifer take a walk, 1985, in the clock tower. So you turn that one over, you look at 1985, you go along to the clock tower, and that's an event. Now, luckily, uh, at this time, we would do more than one. So let's, do, let's just, just turn over three cars to, 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 to have the game going at the moment. So we've got um, DeLorean on the train bridge, which is up here. Uh, ah, the DeLorean pushes the train to 88, the train pushes the DeLorean to 88 miles an hour, and the clock tower mall, which is there, 
Right, what have we got here? So we've got here, you to, to complete this event, you need that token and that token on your dice or available for you over here. Um, on this one, you need a lightning bolt on your die. Um, they look somewhat like that. And that will do that event for you. And here, you need a spanner. But unfortunately, it has this one has the Biff symbol in this corner, which means Biff moves to there. And so you've got to get rid of him first. The way you get rid of Biff is by discarding a fist. So you can discard a fist and Biff, move Biff to anywhere else. Get rid of him. Not off the board, unfortunately, and not out of his own time zone. But you get rid of him. So now you can do that. Uh, spend the spanner that you've got as well. And discard that card. And when you complete a location, um, you get rid of everything on there. You draw an item card from the item deck of the year. So that year would be um, 2015, where we just got rid of that one. So we draw the top card from there. And this is Doc's letter. Return to the clock tower, which is under construction in 1955. Sorry, in 1885. I was going by the blue on it there. Um, should go by the date underneath. Bit naughty of me there. Um, so that's where it's got to go back to is 1885 when the clock tower is under construction. So it's actually got to go back to there. Um, to do that, you put it. Who got it? The pink purse, pink DeLorean. So the pink DeLorean carries that with him until such time as the pink DeLorean can get to. The clock tower in 1885 and that's fairly easy because you're playing together so at some time in this round you will ask the uh, brown player to move use his movement to move his delorean out the way um, and everybody has a turn it goes right round any cards left on the board, you count them up. The, the area with the most cards and um, the, uh, is the area you use. You count up the number of spaces, not cards. So the number of spaces that have got cards on them. And then you count up the number of tokens that are on those spaces. And you'll move the out of time marker up the board however many that adds up to and you've only got to 12 so the idea really is to work together to get rid of these cards um right so what i was saying now pink quickly has got to get uh doc's letter back to the clock tower in 1885 so let's say it's pink's turn again now we've gone right round we've drawn some more cards I'm not going to do that. You draw more cards at the start of each game, which means you'll fill the fill the board up more. Uh, let's do it. I'll quickly do that because it, it, it makes sense. There's another one on the train bridge, which makes things awkward. Um, there's a 1980, but there's one at Twin Pines Mall. Um, where's Twin Pines Mall? You've got to find that's there. And there's another one at Lou's Cafe, which is there. And Lou's Cafe's got a Biff marker, so Biff moves to there, which means it's awkward to do that one, or at least he's in the way. Um, here, you'd have to get rid of all of those, and this is the naughty thing, you have to get rid of them, all, all cards, in one hit. So you'd need a fist, a movement, and a dot brown head to get rid of those off of there to, fit, to empty that square. But, quickly concentrating on this one at the moment, we have got... Pink turn. Pink rolls his dice, and one of the things pink rolls is a, fl a flux capacitor. Flux capacitors allow you to move to any area, any 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 time, any time in the same area, same location. So by using the flux capacitor, 
pink can move all the way up to 1885 and drop off Doc's letter which is just what you want him to do because that's part and parcel of the game getting rid of those getting those the idea is you've got to get rid of all of these before out of time it's 12 and believe me it's not easy um, there are things you can do to help each other um, apart from looking at the die and saying oh look what you've got or uh, you can't give each other dice you can't land if you land on the same space as each other you cause a problem by causing um uh, uh, what do you call it? What do you call it? A paradox. I need to see the paradox. A paradox, which adds more time and um, more problems for you. Um, but what you can do is, when you roll your dice, if you've got dice over that you don't want to use this turn, um, you can leave them behind. So, um, just look in here, right? Uh, no, let's sorry. Let's just make it a bit easier. We look here now. Orange is on the clock tower. Biff's over there. Is out. Biff's out the way. No one's in the way. Orange needs a lightning bolt to complete that event. Blue is there. Now, say blue goes before orange. And blue rolls their dice. Everybody's rolled their dice at the same time. But blue, orange hasn't rolled a lightning bolt. But blue has, in his last turn, rolled a lightning bolt. Seeing that it's needed there, he's done what they call a ripple effect. He's rippled that die. He's left it behind. Now, orange went after him and orange didn't get a lightning bolt. So we're still in that situation in the next turn. Blue could take this die back into his into his uh, supply and then roll and roll all four die, or he can leave it there, only roll in the three die for his turn this this turn, but allowing Orange to use the ripple die to do the clock tower, because anything that is in the no no he couldn't he couldn't do that i've made it yes he can yes he can yes he can orange is doing it. oh i nearly made a mistake there um i'm not going to edit that out because it was a it's a mistake you could easily make because this is in the past orange is in the future here it means this is available it's available it's there so he uses it takes a die off and completes that event and gets the rewards for it um, if however blue had been here and left the lightning lightning behind orange cannot use this die to complete this because this is in the future and orange hasn't got to the future orange cannot reach to the future and get things but anything from the past can be used present and future. Sounds a bit weird, but it's not it's actually right. Because if you think about it, spanners were invented way back whenever, um, and you can still use them now. But if a spanner was invented in 2025, you couldn't use it at the moment because you haven't got one. <laughs> it hasn't been invented. It's that simple. Um, that's a quick way of doing this this game. So you go through it, you play through these. If you can, if you can empty this row of cards before out of time reaches twelve, then you've all successfully won. If you can't complete the row of cards before you um, it reach, out of time reaches twelve, then you haven't won, and you've all lost. As I say, there's five cards in each of these uh, these decks, and these are. All dated on the backs, as you can see for their right era, era. You can take, you can play with all five, which is very hard to do to, to, to complete, or you can go down to two or three cards um, to try and make it easier. It's still 
Remember, though, there's four lots you've got to do, and even if you have three, it's still 12 cards you've got to get out, and you've only got 12 points that you can lose. Um, good points about the game. Um, it's got that Back to the Future feel. It looks like Back to the Future. You've got DeLoreans everywhere. You've got Biff everywhere. Um, Marty and Doc and other characters you know pop up uh, on the cards. Um, so that you've got that that good feel you've got the feeling of going backwards and forwards uh, the, the future and past are color coded so that you can easily tell what cars belong to which the only disappointing thing is apart from the fact that it says the train pushes the DeLorean to 88 mile an hour you don't get that buzz of, of having to get to 88 mile, mile an hour to um, to succeed and it will be uh, Nice in a way, if these, these, for example, if these cards had a had a speed on them of some kind, or a value, and as well as having the uh, outer time tracker at the top there, you had a an, 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 another track added on there which started at whatever and went to eighty eight, and whenever you complete one of these, you move a, a DeLorean. Uh, different colours in orange could be white, white yeah. um, up the track until you hit 88 miles an hour so then you can either win by completing all of these or by moving the car to 88 miles an hour that's only an afterthought it probably wouldn't add much to it except for you've got that 88 mile an hour there you go and somebody's come to the front door just as I finished that review hope you enjoyed it, take care Remember, Games Gazette, www.gamesgazetteonline.co.uk.